In this video, we're going to show you to install the crankshaft position sensor on your Nissan Frontier located on the passenger side of the engine. We're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench to get loosen this nut and disconnect the ground terminal off of our battery. Go ahead and wiggle that off and just tuck that aside. Using a 21 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen and remove your lug nuts. Go ahead and grab that wheel, remove it, and set it aside. Our fender liner is broken on the inside, but if yours is not, loosen and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts here and here. Phillips head screwdriver. If you have mud flaps on your vehicle, loosen these three. There's a fourth one just on the other side, on the bottom side of the fender. We're gonna loosen and remove that. And on the front side of the fender liner, there would normally be a screw here. Ours is missing. Follow it up. And there's gonna be another one right here. Loosen and remove that. Once that's out, you're gonna come on up. There's normally a retainer here. And then one right here. Ours are both missing and just gonna come on back and there's a plastic retainer button right here. We're gonna use our trim tool to go ahead and pop this out. Pop out the center. And pull out that button with that out. Just kind of work the fender liner out. Work it from the inside of the fender and pull that out. Now that we have our wheel well liner off, I'm gonna go ahead and locate the crank sensor right on the back side here, and it's underneath this rubber boot. You wanna go ahead and work this rubber boot up and off. I'm gonna pull this up, and you can see we have a connector right there. So I want to push in on this little tab on the side there. Now if you can get your hand in there, great. If not, you can use a pair of pliers like this here. You want to be careful not to pinch the connector and break it. So you're just going to pinch that tab, pop that off, and go ahead and swing that off to the side. Now right here is a 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove that. We use a 10 millimeter socket with extension. I'm going to go ahead and spin that bolt out. sensor. Take your new sensor. Go ahead and feed that into position. Install your bolt. Let's go ahead and gently snug that down. And once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. Just want to make sure that that's snug. You don't want to over tighten it, but you want to make sure that it's not going to fall out. Then go ahead and grab your electric connector, line that up, and we're going to push it on. You're going to hear it and feel it pop into place. And then go ahead and slide your rubber boot down and over. Now that we have this installed, we're gonna install our fender liner, our wheel, and reconnect the ground terminal on our battery. Install your fender liner. What you wanna do is basically just kinda of tuck it up into place, push the front one up and over, bring the back around, and 
tuck it inside the fender lip here. The lower portion of your fender liner is gonna fit on the outside. Once you come up to this notch here, that's gonna to pop to the inside like so. So outside, inside, feed it around. And there's gonna be normally two little plastic clips here that the fender liner will actually pop into. Go ahead and feed these into it. The fender liner should fit behind the lip of the front bumper. On the back section here, we have our plastic push pin. Line that up, pop that into place. Let's go ahead and install our back fender splash guard. Let's go ahead and line this up. We have three Phillips head screws here. Let's go ahead and just get these started. Once we get these three started here, we have our fourth one on the back side. So we're gonna thread those in a little bit. We're not gonna snug them down. We just wanna make sure that they are started with several threads. Let's go ahead and move to the other side and install the fourth screw on the back side. Gently snug that down. With that anchored, we can now tighten down the three on the other side. Now at this point, Go ahead and install the two 10 millimeter bolts here and here to anchor the front portion of your fender liner. Our fender liner was damaged and was missing a screw here when we received the vehicle. If you have the screw here and you removed it, go ahead and install it now. Grab your wheel, go ahead and line it up. Set it into place. I'm gonna start all of our lug nuts by hand. Once we have all these started, let's go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 98 foot-pounds. You want to do this in a crisscross pattern. Install the ground terminal and tighten down the nut here. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.